The law behind Lady Grey. On the border of Barrowfields and Darkwood, in the Grey House, Amanda and her younger sister Elvira grew up. When Amanda was of the right age, she would inherit the role of the mayor of Bowerstone, as she was the older sibling. One day, Jack of Blades approached Elvira, and they both agreed that Amanda was a weak, kind-hearted, romantic fool, and she didn't have what it took to lead a whole city. Elvira decided that it should be herself that became mayor. The only issue was that Amanda was the older sibling, and it was her right to become mayor. And so Jack convinced Elvira to murder her sister, which would result in her getting her wish. To do this, Elvira took Amanda into the basement of the Grey House, locking her inside. Trapped inside, Amanda prayed that her boyfriend, Rodri, would come and save her. But as time went on, the cellar began to run out of oxygen. She wrote a letter stating all of Elvira's evil deeds, and she later suffocated, closing her eyes and imagined that she was dying in the arms of her boyfriend that never came. Now, the last living member of the Grey family, Elvira became Lady Grey, the villainous mayor of Bowerstone. She abandoned Grey House, leaving it to overgrow, and it became infested with undead souls that haunted the house. As mayor, Lady Grey committed many evil deeds. She began seducing and manipulating men for her needs, one of them being the famous arena champion Thunder. She also sold half of the school's library, so that she could commission a manor to live in. Years later, the hero of Oakvale discovers Amanda's remains in the basement of Grey House, where Amanda's ghost tells him how she died, and requests that he tell the world her story. Lady Grey later leaves Bowerstone for good, and is convicted of being a witch. She is subsequently murdered by an angry mob, dismembered, and all of her body parts are scattered around Albion. Hundreds of years later, her body parts are collected, and she is reanimated by a gravekeeper who has an obsession for her. He casts a spell that would make her fall in love with the first person she sees. Unfortunately for him, this happens to be the hero of Bowerstone. Although the resurrection brought her back from the dead, it also removed her manipulative and power-hungry edge, leaving her a shell of who she once was. Trapped in a spell, not aware of her own decisions. Hi guys, thanks for watching this lore episode on Lady Grey. What did you think? What would you like me to cover next? As always, like and subscribe if you liked this video. Now, enjoy your day. Bye.